2 Corinthians is so full of so many good things, and this is a long chapter. If you're doing soap, and if you're not doing soap, I don't know what I can say to make you do soap, but if you're doing soap and you're reading this whole chapter, you're going to notice it's a long chapter. But it's got a lot of great stuff in it. Verse 8 goes this way, says this, We do not want you to be uninformed, brothers and sisters, about the troubles we experienced in the province of Asia. We are under great pressure, far beyond our ability to endure. We spared of life itself. We don't know for sure exactly what Paul is talking about. Most likely he's talking about the severe persecution that came up in the city of Ephesus. But it could have been some other things like that. But what's important to understand is that Paul faced severe persecution, not because he'd done anything wrong, and not because he was out of God's will, but because he was in God's will. I want to pray for you if you're facing persecution now. Father, for my brothers and sisters who are experiencing hard times right now, I pray that your Holy Spirit would lighten their burdens and give them answers to their prayers. In Jesus' name, amen. Now let's ask ourselves the question, why doesn't God always answer our prayers? Sometimes people almost feel like God doesn't understand how difficult things are or how bad things are. And that would really be a misunderstanding. In fact, if we look at this interesting paragraph, there's some wonderful things that are in the middle of it, and I'm going to talk about that for tomorrow. But I want us to understand one really important thing here, because this will change our direction. He says, we don't want you to be uninformed, brothers and sisters, about the trouble. Why? Why did it matter for them to be not uninformed? Because in verse 11, he says, as you help us by your prayers. That's why we need to be informed. That's why we need to go what's, know what's going on. Because Paul recognized that in the troubles that he had, in the problems that he had, through the power of God's people praying, God rescued him, God strengthened him, and God helped him endure. If you're in trouble, call on God's people to pray. If you're not in trouble, you should be praying for somebody else who is in trouble. God bless you all as you read through 2 Corinthians. Thank you.